All right, as promised, got Trailblazer Tim with me this morning, and we are going to go out and see if we can find uh, a good place to put this base camp. We're going to do a little bit of uh, material gathering today, not a lot of heavy building, but uh, I'm going to show Tim the lay of the land, get his uh, opinions on what we should build, and we're going to take all of you all along on that, and then it's going to be some coffee time. So... I'll check with you when we get down there. All right, guys, we made it to the camp out here at Bull Creek. Matt, the Florida boy, uh, we're gonna walk another half mile south of here and go take a look at this uh, prospective base camp. And I'm excited about it. And maybe we'll scare up some coffee or something. And we got to get going because that sun is cooking and it's just gonna get hotter. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show Tim. When we come around, we have this huge downed oak tree. You can see the, you see the roots and everything over there. And I thought that this oak tree was dead, but it's got this huge canopy. When I looked up, all of the oak tree is still alive. So this is this will be a great place. I mean, there's. There's branches with Ys. You know, we could hang other other pine branches. That thing must be four feet in diameter. And there's a really good canopy under here. You could make all kinds of structures. We don't got to worry about any widowmakers or anything because this is the, the oak tree is all still alive. So, talking to Tim, and as much as we like this site, I think we found the better one. A little ways farther so I really want to show you that one all right here's what we're talking about me and Tim walked down a little farther and we found this there's five trees and there's a pine tree a palm a pine behind it another pine over there and another palm over here this is probably and and everything is green all the pine trees are green there's no widow makers anywhere that's going to hurt us and Tim, what's that? How big square is that? Do you think maybe eight feet or ten feet? It's, I'll tell you what. I mean, if we put something, depending on because the summer weather and stuff comes through here with the storms and stuff, usually comes from the west. Right. So we want to try to shelter ourselves so when the wind and the rain and stuff comes whipping through, it goes over top of us. So I'm thinking if we can clear an area out and face our camp either to the east or to the south. It's going to be our best bet, and we got great area to tie on with some some beams here and throw a lean-to down. There's plenty of fallen timber here. This is a spot, man. Oh yeah. oh yeah, and and just this way, uh, not even 20 yards, uh, it drops off to that canal. So we got all of the fresh water that we want within 20 yards. You know, all we got, we'll just police up the area a little bit, and uh, and even out the floor. Dude, I think this is it. Look at these five square trees. I mean, this is like a... <laughs> it's like a built-in structure. All you need is just the, the, the roof and the, the walls. I wonder if any zombies get back here, like Walking Dead. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my gloves out and start clearing a couple things. Yeah, let's do that.
Guys, Matt and I decided to uh, walk back a little ways to the north and we found some straight pine downs and uh, we've got the back part of this shelter, which is going to be a lean-to, kind of paracorded in here and everything between these five trees and Matt's kind of like simulating how it's going to be in the back end of it because in the summertime this is where the weather comes and there's foot traffic. If there is any, it's going to be hard for them to see back in this area and nobody's coming in from this way because there's a canal. Uh, that we walk down to the sea. But we're gonna put something like that on that side and then go something like this on, on this side. And you know it, it, it's we're gonna make it so that we can stand up in it. So I, I think it's gonna be really nice. We'll clear out a few of these palmettos in the front, kind of reconfigure the trail a little bit, and then we'll probably have one going right across the front. Something like that. And this is going to be like the entrance. Yeah. To this come in and out. Yeah. So, and it's got perfect structure with the natural trees and all that stuff. I just be good. Nice time for us to sit down in the shade, cool off. We can get a bunch of that bamboo and we can kind of make a bamboo roof. And the, <laughs> the, the, the saw palmettos and everything. Yeah, this is. We've like been the saw palmettos. It ought to be nice and waterproof, too. Let's get something to drink, maybe have a smoke or something. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we decided to uh, stop and get some coffee. Tim's cooking in the old Stanley Adventure Series with the Esbit and the Esbit Cubes. I'm cooking on Old Faithful, and I'm gonna just put my little alcohol stove under there because we're only cook did doing a little bit of coffee. Tim got some his old pipe, the Prince Albert, uh, some beef jerky. Uh, I got uh, why? What is this? Is the old uh, shit? This is the old. Cookie Crunch Brownie. <laughs> Gonna finish that off with a little cigar and some cream and sugar. I mean, some coffee and vanilla cream, just to show you I'm not a total savage. So, we're gonna get that going. And then we're gonna um, have a little discussion about our camp here. So what do you think, Matt? Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it works pretty good. I'm gonna channel my inner uh, Indian or cowboy here. <laughs> Well, I done walked out of the house without my cream and sugar, so this is going to be a rough, rough go at it. Some coffee. Bl blame it on Jack the pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. But I think, uh, you know, what we got going on here, you know, there's, like you said, there's a gazillion places here in these, these woods. There's thousands and thousands of acres out here in Bull Creek. Uh, and we've been coming out here for a long time, Matt longer than me. But this is really a spot that I, we just kind of stumbled on and it's got a natural structure to it. Um, we got some work to do, you know, and the hot summer months are coming up and stuff, but uh, you know, we just plug away at a little here and there. And now we know what we're up against and we know what we can bring out here. Uh, definitely need to get some more uh, paracord, uh, like you're saying, maybe some long spikes. Yep. Uh, forage out some uh, bamboo. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm sitting next to one of the trees that's, that's one of the corners of it. And you can see this uh, this first standard that we put in. I mean, that's it's going to be really comfortable to sit under here. Maybe we'll make a between these two trees. We'll make some kind of a raised platform, and uh, that we can sit on. And I think that it'll be really nice. Well, that too. Also, you know, you got summertime coming up, and that's the rainy season. And if we can do this the right way, even on a Sunday, you can come out here. Even if it's raining, you can get up underneath here, and you can have a shelter. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, because we're not a bunch of babies around here. We have to deal with the hot heat and the, you know, the swamps and the rain and stuff like that. So we got to make the best of what we got going on around trust, here. Trust me, it's pretty warm today. Whew. I don't know why we're drinking hot coffee, but <laughs> it's all right. It's all good. That's the way it is. And that's the thing too. Is is um. You know, if we're smart about things, we could actually, you know, because this is off the beaten path, there are some game trails around here, but you can't find this place unless you know where it's at. And we got fresh water that's down here in this canal. It's not all boogered up. We got our Sawyer Minis. We could uh, process a few liters of water while we're out here. And like you were saying, maybe grab some five gallon dry buckets and stash them somewhere. That way we could have basic necessities of what we need uh, instead of having to haul them in every single time, you know? We could, we could stash a couple of nice dry buckets in these palmettos and no one would ever find out where they are. So, alright, so I think the next game plan when we come out here again is just bring some more uh, rope and stuff like that, maybe a foldable saw, a machete, 
a few other things we really didn't get a chance to do too awfully much but scout out this cool place and to really get a game plan and find a spot for a great bush uh, craft uh, base camp. Oh yeah. Uh, and I don't think anybody's going to find this because nobody wants to walk back this far because it's off the beaten path. We couldn't hardly find it. Mm -mm. We walked, you know, a hundred yards that way. It was hard to find. Plus, if you, you know, if we don't build it like as high as a condominium or something, <laughs> you know, it, most of the people that are going to walk past here, they're going to walk on that side. So nobody's going to see. That's going to be the back wall. So you're not going to see a big hole in the in the brush. So, and, and uh, this is a wildlife management area, also. So, I mean, oh yeah. And myself personally, I've got, uh, I've got, I paid the money to uh, be able to come out here anytime I want, and to stay uh, and do all that other good stuff. Uh, and um, you know, there's a lot of wildlife. You can see a lot of these little uh, game trails. So we're not going to be alone back here. No. Uh, but I'd rather uh, my odds against the the critters out here than a bunch of idiots running around. You know. Oh yeah. And Tim's got his corn cob pipe with some uh, Prince Albert. Mm -hmm. I got, Carolina got Chris was telling me, I was asking those guys and uh, Billy Joe Denny, you know, they told me about some new tobacco and stuff like that's tasty and stuff and I'm going to try some new things out. This is uh, what we're working with today. So let's get on with coffee and we'll get back with you. I forgot my cream and sugar, man. This truly is a savage cup of coffee here. Don't really need the hot coffee because heck, pretty soon it's going to be about 80 degrees and it's only the 2nd of March. Eat it up, all you guys up north. <laughs> you don't see me smoking a cigar very often, but <laughs> I figured Tim gonna have the uh, gonna have the pipe, so I bring out a little cigar, and I got some coffee, and I got a nice little chocolate brownie. Oh man! Hmm. Holy mackerel! It don't get much better than this, dude. You wait till we get to shelter bill. We're gonna be cooking some steaks. Oh, and on top of that too, mm -hmm. there's quite a bit of shade that's here already. Yeah. And once we get the roof and the sides on here, I know what we're gonna have to do though, I was thinking about this, is uh, the roof and the sides are gonna allow us shade and shelter from the rain. We also gotta make sure that we do it in a way where we keep it ventilated so if there is some breezes maybe even something where if we came out here and it was like today and there was no rain or anything like that we could open up an area to at least funnel some air to come through into the shelter instead of sitting into like a hot box you know what i mean we'll kind of keep the sides open or the sides not you know too big you know what i'm saying what if we structured like the roof and maybe put a heavy duty tarp system on the sides that are roll up and even one that may be down through the front. So we could completely close the thing off when we're not here. Or while we're here, we could roll the sides up and let all the air come through. If anybody's got any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Please do. We're open to suggestions. But I mean, we're making it up as we go. This is a good start. And you know, down here in Florida, you know, I'm like a lot of you guys up north and stuff. Uh, it's different kind of timber, uh, different kind of environment and, and, and uh, area down here. So we really have to be frugal and creative on what we come up with and uh, and how we go about doing things with the rain and the swamps and uh, the hunters and all that other good stuff. And it's going to do nothing but get hotter from this point on. How's that brownie? Oh, brownie's <laughs> awesome. I think it's like melting chocolate all over. Oh, yeah. All right. What do you think of that new base camp location that we got? getting a little hot so we're going in now but uh, I, I think it's got a lot of potential oh it's got so much potential if anybody's got any ideas about uh, about how we should organize it please leave it in the comments below uh, and this is just the first video on the buildup of our new base camp uh, I hope you like it there's gonna be plenty more to come until we get this sucker finished. Ain't nobody knows about it, and there ain't nobody gonna find it because we popped the beaten path. No, there's nothing back there. There's no beer cans, there's no water bottles, there's no trash, there's no nothing. Vienna sausage. There's no no Vienna sausage can. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading back now because it's starting to get hot. So let me know if you got any suggestions on how we ought to start building that and building that up. I value all your suggestions. Remember to hit the little alligator in the lower right-hand corner to subscribe. And until next time, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, where their old buddy Trailblazer Tim saying, we'll see you on the trail.